Hi, Nika. Hi, Dr. Faisal. How are you? I'm good. That's great. Uh, we actually came up to see you. Sure. I heard you, you recently traveled for your Hajj. I sure did. It was a wonderful experience. That's nice to hear. Can you show us what a day in the life of a surgeon is? Sure. Always a pleasure meeting a doctor. Pleasure's mine. So I've always wanted to be a doctor myself, so I have a lot of questions for you today. Let's do it. Uh, but before that, uh, maybe you can start by telling the viewers your name. Which Taylor school are you from and what year did you graduate? My name is Muhammad Faisal bin Sikanda. I'm a graduate of Taylor's Law School and I graduated in 2022 last year. What is your job title? At the moment, I'm a consultant orthopedic surgeon, senior lecturer with the faculty of medicine UITM. I am currently heading the department of orthopedics and traumatology in hospital UITM, Puchana. Are you in the profession you dreamed of as a child? Yes, I am. What was your first job? It's always been a doctor. What do you love most about your job? I like meeting people and I like treating them well. It's very satisfying to see patients get better after treatment. What new skills do you want to learn for your job? I would like to pick up knee surgery to repair ligaments. What is your proudest work achievement? It has to be completion of my master's in healthcare policy and medical law with Davis. Congratulations. Does your career make you feel fulfilled? Definitely. Name one thing that best describes a surgeon. Guts and gory. Name one thing that best describes a lecturer. Sincerity. Since you wear multiple hats, where do you see your career in the next five years? Moving up the seniority level, I'm probably uh, going to take up more administrative roles in the coming years. That's nice. What machine is this? Now, this year is called an II machine, where it provides portable radiographs in the operating theater. Alright, let's switch things up a little bit. What world record do you think you have a shot at being? None. I don't think I'm that good at much. What's the most difficult medical case you've handled before? Right, in the year 2007, we managed the case of a young girl from Indonesia. She had an aggressive tumour of the shoulder. Despite our bestest of effort, she succumbed to a disease. What's the most exciting part during the surgery? Uh, being able to fix a fracture well. How do you cope with long hours of consultation or surgery? I make sure I have adequate sleep at night and regular exercises do help. I've heard from many people that they dread their housemanship days. What was the hardest challenge you faced during housemanship? For me, it's lack of sleep. What's your advice for Taylor students who's pursuing the medical degree right now? The journey is going to be a long and tough one, but the end is going to be so much satisfying. How do you cope with being a surgeon and a lecturer? That must be a challenge. For me, it's uh, not two different roles. A surgeon is always lecturing, either formally or informally. We need our nurses, our staff. We teach our patients. So uh, lectures and teachers, teachings are always uh, going on with a doctor or a surgeon. What medical breakthrough would you like to see in your lifetime? I would like to see robots perform surgery. It's something I'm witnessing now. We've got robotic assisted knee surgeries. By the way, congratulations. We heard that you just graduated with a Master of Laws. Why law? Now, my wife feels it's a midlife crisis, but for me, it's uh, a lot of interest in the subject. And why did you choose Taylor's in the first place? Taylor's has always stood up in terms of rankings. It has got my friends are studying there. We've always had good reviews. And I'm glad I joined Taylor's. Okay, Chef, is our patient ready? Okay. Alright, everything looks good. looks good otherwise. Okay, thank you. What's the one place in your college that you still remember it? Unfortunately, I was in the online group during the height of the pandemic. Therefore, the only physical access I had to Taylor's was the Lakeside campus in this year during a convocation, breathtaking place. Did you love what you studied? Definitely. What was your favourite subject during your Masters? Medical negligence. Who is the best lecturer for you and why? My thesis supervisor, Dr. Tamara Joadinoraisika, who helped me till completion of my uh, thesis. How would you describe the university's atmosphere? Conducive, friendly, What's the best thing about Taylor's that you can remember? The environment is very approachable and it's a very homely kind of environment. Do you exercise regularly? Yes, I do. Do you prefer hiking through the woods or walking on the beach? I prefer both, but given a chance, I would choose walking on the beach. What's your go-to healthy recipe? 
bread and peanut butter. Where are we now, by the way, doctor? Now, we are in a scrub room. This is where the doctor scrubs and washes up before he starts his surgery. How do you cope with stress? For me, it's two keys. Number one is prayers. And secondly is family. What is your hidden talent? I do a bit of drawing and painting. How much time do you spend with your family? I spend a lot of weekends. My weekends and my days off are entirely belonging to my family. Speaking of family, what's your favourite family tradition? It has got to be meeting up during festivities. Are you the oldest, youngest or middle child? I'm the middle boy. Where is your heritage? I've got a rich culture and bloodline from uh, India. I'm an Indian Muslim. Uh, what is that you're holding, Doctor? Right. This is a tool which we surgeons are very familiar with, known as a diatomy. It stops bleeding during surgery. That's cool. What is the most important lesson you learned from your parents or grandparents? My father once said, a good product needs no advertisement. Something which holds very true for me till today. Would your 12-year-old self think you were cool? Definitely. Do you speak more than one language? I do. I speak three languages well. Two of them, I do not converse by I understand them. And what are those languages? I speak English, Malay and Tamil. And I understand Hindi and Arabic. Wow. Do you think you could win a game show? No, I don't think I'm good if it's a physical one especially. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes, I do. There's one right behind you now. <laughs> uh, where are we, by the way, now? This is the operating theatre. Uh, this is where the patient lies down as uh, he undergoes surgery. It's a very nice place. Money or happiness? Happiness. Glass half full or glass half empty? Half empty. Sauce on the side or sauce on top? Sauce on the side. Comedian in serious film or serious actor in comedy film? Comedian in a serious film. Loud neighbours or nosy neighbours? Loud neighbours. Art museum or history museum? Art museum. Coffee or tea? Coffee definitely, that keeps me awake. Attend a party or host a party? Attend a party. Ambition or comfort? Comfort. Reality shows or documentaries? Documentaries. Do you consider yourself a creative or an artistic person? Creative person. Is there a hobby you want to start? No, rather I would like to finish or progress a hobby which I've started. It's drawing. What would the title of a movie or a book about your life be? The Life of Faisal. How would you change the world? By spreading kindness. Do you think it's more important to be respected or liked? Respected. Do you believe in the law of attraction that thoughts become things? No, I don't. Actually, thoughts to become things needs effort to follow through. What's the key to living a good life? Three keys. Number one, eat less. Number two, exercise more. Number three, lead a stress-free life. What cause are you the most passionate about? Spreading kindness and sincerity. And what's the best thing about Malaysia? The food. Alright, Dr. Faisal, I, I believe that was 60 questions. Uh, actually, I have actually one last question for you, that's fine. Sure. What's one piece of advice you have for Taylor Orange watching this video? Right, in the words of the 16th President of the United States of America, Abraham Lincoln, he goes on to say, whatever you be, be a good one.